Okay, HP 1531. Relative to prosecution for victimless crimes, I'm still waiting for the word that means that, that somebody can tell me what a victimless crime is. Something that shouldn't have been a crime to begin with. <laughs> Representative Christ. I make a motion, ITL. Second. Second. <laughs> wow. That's wow. Wow. my point is <laughs> Laura can do it. It's fine. You do it. You know, you're, you're starting to be with us an awful lot over the world. Because if you're doing well, the right thing. She's lulling <laughs> us into a sense of watcher. She's not over to security and come on. Ken made the motion, I said. Thank you, Steve. That's right. Okay, is there any discussion on this bill? I have we heard it all. I, heard I just all. can't understand what a victimless crime is. Well, I'm still waiting for the definition. But it's a word. Maybe. Word receives damages. Ah, okay, I get that. So, if you're in favor of the ITL, you'll vote yay. Opposed, vote nay. And the clerk will call the roll when he's ready. Young Yee? Aye. Welch? Aye. Fields? Aye. Fish? Aye. Shonai? Aye. Antos? Aye. Riazzo? Aye. Bryce? Aye. Carson? Aye. Tasker? Aye. Benalakis? Yes. <laughs> I had to think what I was doing. <laughs> Ruby? Aye. Trilla? Aye. Ginsburg? Aye. Swinford? Aye. <laughs> What do you do? Consent calendar? No? No, no objection. Okay, consent. Well, we're going to fill up the blue sheets next week. Well, when we come back from vacation. <laughs> so we're going to make a big deal. HD 1651. Requiring the Division of State Police to equip special. Weapons and tactic units are teams with tactical cameras. Motion OTP. I've been waiting for this for a while. Wait, wait, what? Motion on Oh, my God. <laughs> a rebel oh. without a cause. <laughs> <laughs> but too many. Right? My perspective on this one is that it would behoove the police not to want it. And here's why. The police officer is taking in everything that's going on during this raid through his eyes and his ears. A camera would do the same thing. Any judgment decisions he makes on shoot, don't shoot, innocent, that guy's gonna kill me, gotta make a decision right now. Anything that happens is gonna happen on camera using the same stuff <coughs> he's seeing and then he's hearing. Why not? Why can't they not be Because helping? he'll hesitate. Only, he cuts of that camera. Only if he's worried about doing something wrong. If he, you, if he knows, if that, you know you're doing the right thing, and you know you've got a camera that could say it's going to be interpreted and subjected, and it's everybody else is going to say, "Well, if it was me, I wouldn't have done it that way." Well, the standard is if the officer feels his life is in danger and he's looking at it and he's seeing it. Well, why can't? Well, what if you can't see what's going on over here? But the way a camera. Everybody else is going to have a camera too. So you're going to catch oh, 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 out of your pocket? Yeah. Who's you know, people the SWAT team. Yeah. Well, the state of the SWAT 55 yeah. members of yeah. the SWAT team. Yeah, $500 apiece. You think they're your friends? Yeah. We're going to pay for it. Well, how much is the wrong that suit cost? A couple million dollars? That should cover it. What's the enemy you've got? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Go ahead. I really what? don't see why they're coming from that direction. Because they're dangerous. This will justify their actions beyond a shadow of a doubt. We Ooh, see exactly what you saw. Okay. There's nothing to question. What's the second guess? You don't yeah, yeah. see everything that you, you move your head. If you go into a room right. looking for some bad guy, yeah. you've got a camera. Yeah. You're going this way, you're seeing that. Steve. You're going that way. Somebody comes out from that room and you don't see it. Well, if you turn your rifle and shoot, even if you're not looking at it, you have a camera mounted rifle. A camera mounted rifle. Come on. Come on. Look, we're talking about citizen flies here. We just want to protect the police from wrongful. What's wrong now? Well, but we don't want to protect the SWAT units. Yes, protect them from wrongful. Even the yeah. Al was against Thank you, Madam Chair. The, the intent of this bill offered by the sponsor was that at the end of the weapon would be a 
camera. Now, the testimony that I heard from Arnold Sweeney in regards to cameras being in cruisers were so that they could assess the situation, so right. that they had a record of what actually happened and didn't happen. Initially, there may be some hesitation by the officers, but once they get over that, it's, it's going to be second nature, and it's, well, the reason that I support this is because the guy that was now dead was down the street from my house, and we still have no determination as to whether that was a justified shooting or not. So I would have liked to have seen the video. It's not something that would be public. It's something that would be uh, kept to, to, the, uh, to the Attorney General's office, the state police, and would only be uh, accepted for the uh, criminal case. So that's why. Uh, I'm going to vote against the bill, not because I think it's a bad idea, but because the way the bill is written, it will buy the cameras, but it doesn't set up anything for repair. Uh, it doesn't indicate anything of remote access. Um, I understand what Representative Rousel says, but it doesn't indicate that it, that information would be held only at the Attorney General's office. So Real Sweeney said that too. There's a there's a number of issues beyond the scope of that. I I, I applaud what Representative Casker says because I, I do do believe it will hold them to a higher standard, but this is incomplete, as I see it. It needs more work, and, and uh, maybe it should go to interim study. To talk to that point, it, it wasn't just that it would hold them to a higher standard. It would protect their judgment from being questioned, because you're going to have a record of it. It's not going to be, we're going to see if this guy's had a good record, see how he's performed, see if we can trust him, if, if we can believe what he says. No, you're going to have it all right down on camera, right in front of you. Representative Kenneth Marcus. Yes, and in the testimony that they gave, they were dangerous for the people. Uh, that the people on, and police. On, on, for the police. I don't know where you guys come from that you hate police so much, but <laughs> this will protect the police from being dangerous. It will not protect them because it's dangerous right. for them because they can get knocked off. There's a number of things that can happen. Don't you ever stop and think that if they thought this was a good idea to have on a SWAT team, that the cities and towns wouldn't have been paying for it long before now? The technology is just getting to the point where it's miniaturizable, you can mount it to a weapon without losing your tactical advantage. There's plenty of reasons why this would happen now and not in the past. And, and everything else going on, this is a 28A issue. And you cannot pass it down to the cities and towns. Not just the state police have SWAT teams. It's a cost. On this one? Yeah. Well done, Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just getting back to the point that Representative Briazzo made about the Manchester shooting, that the uh, prime sponsor of the bill alluded to in her testimony. Uh, as Commissioner Sweeney said, within two weeks after the shooting, there's a preliminary report, which there was in this case, uh, finding it to be a justified shooting, but uh, the, they have up to a year to, do, to file a comprehensive report on exactly what happened. And, um, and I think that's appropriate so that they don't rush the judgment. So it's not as if the state or anybody else is trying to hide the events in Manchester. It's just a matter of uh, giving the citizens uh, an appropriate report on the activity and the actions that day. Um, as far as spending 127000 for cameras, I think it's absolutely ludicrous, especially in this tight economy where we're cutting so many good programs, uh, especially for offenders and other things that we could spend the money on. Uh, I, 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 what can I tell you? This is, you know, I, I, I won't be voting for it. Do you support an interim study? No. 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 Where are you coming? I just don't think it's uh, necessary. Come back with a better bill next year. Representative Ginsburg, Democrats, and Republicans. 185. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I think it has to be said that the benefits of this bill would be primarily in the favor of the general public, not of the police, because it would provide, perhaps, for more detailed investigation. I just don't have that much confidence in the ability of this kind of a camera to add significant amounts of evidence to the investigation, which, as my colleague says, would, uh, in a year, would be quite thorough and would produce a result. It wouldn't produce the kind of instantaneous result that we're used to or the real-time kind of opportunity to watch something that we crave these days or many people do. Uh, but for the marginal increase in the amount of evidence that we would get in the case, 
it's simply not worth the money. Uh, that's another issue that I was going to talk about because the original bill and fiscal note talks about 127.5, but in Earl Sweeney's testimony, these units actually cost 185.6, uh, and that would equip all 11 uh, tactical units throughout the state. Uh, then he's talking about the replacement issues, as I mentioned, with the upkeep on those, the replacement issues. There's nothing in this that would do that. That's why I thought about possibly studying it and see what those extras would be. It could come back next year. So. <laughs> yes, I think uh, this would uh, injectize the police I mean, as far as safety and etc. I think that was stated already. Uh, when you're going in to an area that we're talking about, they don't have time to think about cameras and movie cameras and etc. And the testimony was given by different people that it wouldn't be practical to be doing this. I mean, people are going in there to save lives and they're going in there to pre try to prevent somebody from hurting themselves, etc. They're going to be paying attention, more attention to what is being filmed than what their job is. <coughs> You know, if this was so good, I don't know why the military don't, the military don't have all those cameras on, see what they're doing. They do. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, uh, we get people in Afghanistan that say they're committed to the wrong crimes and etc. Why don't they all have those little cameras and run around so we can all review them, see if they're doing the right thing? If we can't depend on the police officers for doing the right thing, we have a problem. And it's not here. Thank you. <coughs> Yes, okay, no more talking. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura, uh, Representative Anilakis. I just Time think we need sense. to stop and think. They keep telling us that the Lord. people outside would know what had happened. Those films are never going to come out on the outside. It's not going to be where that, that man's child can see him or his wife or whoever. It's going to be in the police department right where it's that. So why would we... <laughs> Why put their lives on the line to do something like that when they're not going to get anything? And the guy in Manchester, I think, I feel sorry for him and I feel sorry for his daughter. But three days he sat in that house and they gave him a chance. Just, just a quick follow up on that. The fellow that was in that house, so I had asked the question, why did you respond or why did they respond with a SWAT team? It didn't make any sense to me. What it turned out to be, he was held up in the house with his daughter, a minor child, which is the call that came in, plus he had a weapon. That was the trigger, no pun intended, that really activated that whole process of the SWAT team. So. I really don't like to see this issue painted as, we don't like police, so we want to have them on the record. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. Why can't, I'm just trying to help you see from my perspective here, that if, if there was a camera uh, watching what he's doing, he should have zero reason to hesitate because he's going to know, instead of having all his decisions set and guess, he's going to say, they see exactly what happened, you made the right call, case closed. Now they're saying, justify, 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 justify. If people want to know that these things are actually justified, it's not just a rubber stamp because we don't want to have an investigation, we don't want to waste the money, we don't want to stir up things. Okay, if you're in favor of what to pass, you say aye. If you're opposed, you say nay. Court, please call the roll. Okay, this is hot to pass. Yanyi? No. Welch? No. Fields? No. Fetch? No. Sharon? No. You no. No. Antos? No. Griazzo? Aye. Aye. Sorry. Rice? No. Parsons? No. Casca? Aye. Penelakis? No. Ruby? No. Shirtless? No. Ginsburg. No. Swenson. How about me? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something. I'm not. <laughs> <Swenson>. Yeah. <laughs>
pretty soon you're going to be able to put a chip on everybody and see who they are, what they're doing. What do you do? 14. Yeah, you got the wrong of that. Yeah. They got the wrong of that. But you got nothing to hide, what are you worried about? I wouldn't want to see what's on your chips, Rob. Why do you want to protect the criminals all the time? No, it's just some little chip and put a camera on you. Why not? Gotcha. Why do you want to protect the criminals all the time? It's coming. We're going to have something. It's coming. We're going to push it. We're going to work on Big brother will be watching. We're going to have you stop next time. Watch out for Big Brother. There's a movie about that. Everybody watches. Oh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm sorry. You need a motion? Come on. Be brave. Be brave. Yeah. I really don't like I'll second it. If you're in favor by TL, say aye. If you're opposed, say nay. And clerk will <coughs> call the roll. Yeah, yeah. Aye. Welch. Aye. Fields. Aye. Fresh. Aye. Stone, aye. Vindas. Aye. Santos. No. Piazzo. ITL? Yeah. ITL? No. Price? Aye. Yes. Yeah. Carson? Aye. Tasker? No. And Lacus? Aye. Karubi? Aye. Shirtlet? Aye. Ginsburg? Aye. Swinford? Aye. 13 Yep. Consent? Consent? You can't hear it. No, you can't hear it. Everybody should know.